Hi, it's Hypnajohn again, here for another Going Under video. Okay, now this one is a request that I've been meaning to get to, like, forever. And it's just basically called Transform Hypnosis, Try Not to Be Hypnotized, by a young man named Jackson Stock. So, um, and I'll link the link in the description below. Okay, but as it's 27 minutes, uh, let's just jump into it, uh, shall we? Okay. Okay, so it's just this young man, and he's standing in front of the camera, and uh, it's just his smooth voice. So here we go. Hello there. We're going to play a little game. And all you have to do is follow along and relax and get settled in. And let's see if you can listen to me and watch me without going into a state of trance. Can you do that? Well, you have to pay attention. You have to turn off any devices that may distract you. That includes your phone, unless you're watching it on it, of course. And any other I'm thing just going to do that, actually. And that's part of it. And you must pay attention to every word. Otherwise, you may have gone into a state of trance. As in that state, you may be paying attention to my words and yet not paying attention. Falling away. Not quite hearing the words I say. Isn't that right? So you can try to follow along. Or try not to follow along. Which one was it? It doesn't matter. Let's just make sure that you are so comfortable, so relaxed. Because even though you're going to try not to fall into a state of trance, I do want you to relax so that you enjoy this so much. Because it feels good to relax. It feels good to sit back and take deep breaths. Now, relaxation isn't trance, so you can lay back and enjoy that all you like. We can allow that. And you have not failed the challenge. All you need to do is relax. Be calm and easy. It all happens on its own. If you allow it. So don't allow it. Don't allow yourself to sink too deep in your mind. If you can do that, as you follow my words, that relaxation that you rolls up from within you as you lay back kind of grows up like the grass grows. It's so slow that you don't notice it. But at the end of a hot, wet day with sun and water, the grass has grown quite a bit. And you did not notice it happening. That's kind of what trance feels like. Very gradual. Sometimes in an instant. Sometimes. also don't notice it. You get that little deer in the headlights look. And that happens so quick. That is a state of trance. What is a state of trance? That's what's so hard to define. And that's why it's so hard not to fall deep into it. Deep 
deep into my words, my thoughts, my feelings. It is quite hard not to fall, not to see yourself drift and go down and down. But this is the way things are. Things are easy, aren't they? It's easy to lay there, eyes fixed forward, maybe even feeling a little tired. But keep them awake for me. I don't want you falling into a state of sleep. Deep sleep. We wouldn't want you falling into a state of deep serene sleep, because that's definitely what trance feels like. That's right. Trance feels so good, and you can feel yourself resisting it, resisting it now. And the harder you resist that trance, the easier it is to make you go into it. Because what you resist persists. This won't help you out. All you need to do is let go of the resistance. And it takes you down deeper and deeper. Deeper down than ever. What does it feel like when you are in a state of trance? That's the hard part, isn't it? That's the hard part, because it feels so different for everyone. For some it feels as normal as the day feels. As normal as every day is. For others it feels so different, that you're floating on a cloud. You're drifting. Your body might be heavy, or it may feel weightless. All people are different, and yet some still feel nothing, notice no difference, because they simply cannot tell in their mind. Some people, they can't tell, and it simply happens. So easy. So simple. So allow that to keep going. in your body, what you feel now, notice in your mind, what you feel now, this is all you need to do, is to just lay back and feel it, lay back and feel it. Intricacies in your body. Notice how your skin feels and all the muscles in your body. Even just the intricate muscles in your hands. Relaxing. Easy. Going down. And down. You know that it happens in the right way. Every time your little break from life, isn't it nice to have moments where nothing really happens except for calmness and ease? And in this place, you are empty. So empty that you are useful. Like a pot. Because a pot is useful. It's 
simply because it is empty. So you wish to be empty, to have that nothingness, that feels good. And I'd like you to keep resisting. Did I tell you to stop resisting? I don't remember. Perhaps you do? Which one? brings you into a state of trance. You may notice that as you resist, you will focus on something so hard. So hard. And that is a state of focused trance, isn't it? That when you let go and stop resisting something, you drift away. And that a state of trance. Which one is it? This resistance trance? Or this non-resistance trance? Is it something else? What do you think it is? Because it's up to you whether you've gone into this state or not. You can declare it. You can make it so. See how difficult it is to define that. And even as you thought about defining it, you have fallen into a state of trance. You have fallen into a state of trance. You have fallen into that relaxed place. Because for some people it feels totally normal. You cannot tell when you are in that state. You might say, I feel the same. And that's because you are already in a certain kind of trance already. You were already there. And that is why you say, I feel no different. You're always under some mind control of one thing or another. If you go watch the news, you become mind controlled by that. You watch any kind of programming that makes you feel feelings and think thoughts. It's one form of mind control, isn't it? It may not be in perfect control, but it is changing you. It is moving you. In ways that we realize and do not realize. You are suggestible and susceptible. It's funny how you don't feel it. You don't know. Because you think it's simply life. And from a third person perspective, you can see it so much more easily, can't you? You can see every leader and politician, every movie star and actor. And me, every person on this earth, all of your friends, everyone that you know, or think you know, you can see them. They cannot see themselves. Isn't that funny? And so you cannot see yourself. And you can relax into whatever you think you are. You can calmly fall into it. You can calmly fall into it. Calmly fall into it. Calmly fall into it. Calmly fall into it. Moments of peace. Moments of ease. Moments of nothingness. Moments of fearlessness. Yes, some of us see more 
feel more and hear more things that others cannot see and feel and hear. Are you one of them? You feel nothing at all. And do the sounds around you stimulate you or make you feel relaxed and easy? Like a fan blowing, fireplace crackling. Does that make you go deeper, or does it take you out? Because you replace one trance for another, one hypnosis for another. No matter what you do, sometimes it's a more exciting state. Sometimes it's a more calm and easy state. But all of those things are a focus. Easy, focus, trance. So you ask yourself, am I feeling that? Or am I not? And you ask yourself, what is that thing? What is that? Why would that be a bad thing? And what would that mean if that were true? What would that mean if that were true? If all of your thoughts were true, what does that mean? That's right. It's hard to understand all of it. But you sink deeper into it with each breath. Sinking deeper into it with each breath. As the universe hands you just the right thing, always the right thing for you, if you accept it and see it, that's right, believe in it yourself, and calm, let go, let go of thoughts and ideas that aren't serving you, so that you may have the ones that do. great creator is within you. And it's also all around you. It's whatever you'd like it to be. That's right. Allow your mind to sink you deeper. Because I know you want it. state is what you want. I know being calm and relaxed is what you truly want. You may allow all things to flow like that now. All things may flow in that way. State of focus. State of focus. So that whenever you are working or playing, it's all that you think about. It's all that you think about. It's all that you can focus on. Because nothing else matters. You like to have a getaway. You need it. You've got to have it. And that's good. As we are always in change. Incremental, slow changes. Slowly relaxing your body. Slowly relaxing your body. So that we are all one. One is all we really ever got. Have you ever noticed when you have emotions that it may not be you? Is it 
in who is it that feels your feelings? Sometimes the feelings are in the air, so to speak. Sometimes the feelings are around you. All around you. Sometimes other people are feeling it. Was it you? Is it truly you who feels it? Sometimes it's simply you. When you say, I am happy, you are not happiness itself. There is happiness. And if you were not so much happy, then it's not that you aren't happy. It's not that you are sadness. You are not sadness itself. But there is sadness. It is around you. It may not be you. It may be someone else or something else. Feelings are we are friends. And so there is no more I. No more me. You know that there's something else. It's fun to get back to the me of things. When it becomes me. When it becomes you. When it becomes them. Because that is the ego. That is our separateness. And isn't that how we have fun? We have fun by competing. Even when we know that we are all one in the end, we have fun with our separateness. When we engage with another person in pleasure, we know that we feel pleasure through our own skin, through our own eyes, and the pleasure through our own ears, hearing them, seeing them, feeling them. We are all one because we are feeling it ourselves. Is it truly them? It's fun when we make it so. It's fun to be attracting to other people. It's fun to be with other people, even when we know that we are one. It's fun to pretend that. Others are separate. And that's why we do it. If you can see the fun of that, you can see the fun of everything. That's right. Sometimes the line blurs between pleasure and pain, happiness and sadness. Why do the saddest tears feel so good? Why is that? It is the separateness. We enjoy feeling separate from things. That is your uniqueness. That is why I want you to be as unique as possible. Have you thought about the things I'm telling you? Because that a sign of entering the state of trance. Have you tried to resist them? That is a sign that you've entered a state of trance. Have you had a hard time comprehending them? That is a sign of entering a state of trance. Have you fully comprehended them and had new inspirations? That means that you are in a state of trance. Have you heard so many words and yet you are unable to follow all of them because you are thinking of other things? That also means because that you are in a state of trance. And you see now that there is no way for you to watch and listen 
without going into some sort of state of hypnosis. Because we don't know what that is. All we know is that it feels quite nice. And it refreshes you. It creates things you didn't think possible. Realizing that someone could do anything to you if you so wish it to happen. Anything could happen to you if you wish it to happen. You find Just walk off. agreeable. Just a moment. like to resist and know and understand fully that there is no state of resistance. That is a figment of your imagination. Okay, while he's saying this, it's slowly going darker. Now it's just blacked out. Speaking of which, I'm sorry I can't be a little um, be a small thing in the corner and let the video run. I would really love that, but I don't know how. I got this thing called um, OBS. Yeah. Um, it's called OBS Studio, but I don't know how it works, which would let me do that, but at the same time, I'm not sure if I should do that, because, oh, in one second, uh, here we go, I don't know if I should do it, because, uh, I don't know of YouTube's um, fair use laws. I don't know how that works. So even if I had a YouTube showing on my video, I could get it shut down or something. But at the same time, I've seen other people who do it. So I don't know what the cutoff or you know, I don't know what makes it okay or not okay to do that. So I've done it this way. Sorry. Anyway, uh, I'm not exactly sure what woke me up either. Um, I could tell I was going very deep. I could tell at some points where I was like really like this and that my neck started to hurt. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, we're going on 28 minutes now, so here's Hypnojong. He's he's awesome, and uh, I would very much, I'll very much uh, recommend you try him on for yourself. That was that was really fun. I could hear him and. At the same time, looking back on it, I don't really know what he was talking about. I can't remember, like, like the last quarter of it, last third of it, really. I, I can't remember. It was just him talking about nothing, I think, which I think was the idea. Anyway, I'll uh, see you later next time, and... Uh, I don't have a catchphrase, so just have fun going under yourself. Except for this one, whereas you should try not to be hypnotized. So I'll see you later, and have a good day. Bye-bye.